guys, welcome back to my channel, Fall of Falsha. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at my 2021 figure pre-orders. And I'm also going to be sharing with you guys my figure orders that have unfortunately been canceled. They ask you how you are. So we're gonna be taking a look at that as well. So let's get started with the video. So first I'm gonna start off with the figures that I will be getting that I have on pre-order that should be on the way soon. In fact, one is on its way now. Technically it was released at the end of last year, but because shipping right now is so strange, it's taking a while to get here. That figure is going to be red from Pokemon. It's the ARTFXJ Pokemon series 1 8 scale. So it's red with Charmander. So I've been waiting for this one to come. I think it technically came out at like November 2020, but it's shipped somewhere in shipping think it's in March that this one's getting released. I'm gonna be getting the Snow Miku Snow Princess version. I love this one. This is the Snow Miku from 2019. She is so incredibly gorgeous. Her details on the figure are phenomenal. I'm very picky when it comes to figures, but when I saw this one, I thought about it for about a month or so. And I decided, you know what? I really want it. I hope I can get it. Luckily, there was still a site that I could order from that I could pre-order because a lot of other sites were closing their pre-orders. So I got this one just in time. So I'm really excited for this one to come because she's so pretty. And yes, I do want to cosplay her. As I've mentioned before, and as I'm sure some long time viewers of me know, I am forever stuck in Vocaloid hell. I want to cosplay all of them. Even the Focaloids that you guys have never expected me to cosplay, I wanna cosplay. I just wanna, wanna cosplay them all. After Miku, I can expect Reina Ryugu from Higurashi. So this is going to be from the Higurashi Go series that just came out last year in 2020. So this one's by Good Smile. It looks really good. I love her position. I love that she has the cleaver. And I love the ominous kind of little photo shoot that they did for this figure for advertising it. It's so eerie. It looks very Higurashi-like. I love the flow of the dress as well. From a cosplay perspective, I feel like there should be more seams, but you know, it's a figure and I'm making this right now. So I've been staring at this figure and other reference images a lot. And last on the list, another gorgeous Hatsune Miku figure. So this is the Miku figure by Mythos. It's Something I cannot pronounce, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say this. Uh, Shaua? I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just gonna put it on the screen somewhere so you guys know what this figure is. You know what, I'll do that for all the figures so you guys know what it is. But you'll recognize it by the pictures. It's a really gorgeous Miku figure. I've seen a few people cosplaying it already. Yes, it is on my list. It is so, it's so like elegant and pretty. I'm very excited to get it, not just because I want to cosplay it, but because it's so pretty looking and I just imagine like once I have it, it's gonna look gorgeous anywhere it goes. All right, so you guys have seen what I expect to get this year. Now let's go and see what could have been, what should have been. I am sad about these getting canceled. But you know what? I guess it's money back to me. So first on the list is going to be Leaf from Pokemon. I was looking for her for a long time. I missed her when she came out originally. They're priced well when they come out. Once they are released, however, they like they skyrocket Stop it. in price. It is insane. You have to like know exactly when these figures are coming out to actually get them. Otherwise, it's kind of like, well, good luck. Unless you're May and you get a second production run and I still miss that somehow. I love Leaf and Red, and they would have, you know, made a great pair together since it's the, the male and the female trainer from Pokemon. For some reason, she got canceled. I don't know why. The site I ordered from just said that she got canceled. They didn't say if it was from a defect or anything, just, she just got canceled on me. So I got refunded for that. One of the ones I'm most disappointed by, it was Hatsune Miku Harvest Moon version by Good Smile Company. This is one that I was really looking forward to because I regret it not getting her when she came out. She's a very pretty figure, but as I've said before, I'm very picky with figures and I try not to like jump on to buying them 
Still, I'm sad this one got cancelled because where I had found her, she was used, but because she was used, she was heavily discounted. However, her figure was rated at like a perfect five stars. Even, I think the box may have been like four stars or something, but I mean, I don't, I don't care about the box. They told me that they found a defect on her and that they couldn't sell her. So I'm like, okay, very well, second figure canceled. And then it just kept happening. Third on the cancel list, was Kaoru Nagisa from Evangelion. There's a lot of Evangelion figures, but none of them to me were as beautifully constructed as this one. It's by Precious Gem Mega House. It features Kaoru. He has these gorgeous black wings. He's basically standing on like a pool of blood. And it just, it's the most amazing Kaoru figure I've ever seen. Granted, it is expensive. Apparently, it came out sometime last year in 2020. So, I was looking for it. I found it very close to its retail price. I went for it, and I'm like, I'm gonna buy it. But in less than 24 hours, I got an email notification letting me know that it was already out of stock. Which means a lot of other people are looking for this figure as well. Somebody beat me to it. And I will not be getting Kaoru. And the last figure that has been canceled on me, which happened today. I got the email today. What's today? It is Saturday, January 16th, that I got the email that this was canceled. And hopefully this video goes up before the end of January. That way, you know, this video makes sense for the pre-orders. And I upload this sometime in January, but it was a Focaloid figure. It's Yusuke Yukari. 1 8th, it was the Lin version, so this is not her first default outfit, but it's a later outfit from one of her updates where she has like a light purple dress and a black hoodie with rabbit ears, so it's very cute. Because there is a defect, they will not ship her. She's too defected. There's another figure of Yugari that I really want that does feature her in her default outfit, but that one is so expensive. They must not have made very many of that figure, so I imagine it's probably hard to find. It's very upriced. I do not want to pay $300 for a figure that was originally released at like, what, 100 bucks? In this order that I had of her, I had two other Focaloids coming. They are not Miku. However, they are Focaloid characters that I regretted getting when they came out originally. Let's get on the figure unboxing. First on the list is gonna be Lily from Vocaloid. So this is her box. The art design is by Kay. The figure company is Fat. So the base is pretty cute. It has, has a speaker. It also says Lily on it. There's so much plastic on you, girl. It's hard to put her foot on the stand. It like doesn't wanna go in. And then her foot right here just kind of rests on a speaker. There's nothing for her to really put her foot on to help support her. She has a stand here, which very loosely goes into her hand. It's a pretty good figure. And like I said, I got it heavily discounted. There's honestly nothing wrong with it from what I see. And the next Focalay figure that I have is one that disturbs my fiance because it's Negomura Iroha, and she has speakers for hands. I mean, she has hands, she does. The speakers are part of the costume. Something I absolutely love about this figure is the base of the figure. So, Negomura is basically a, a Hello kitty -ler. A lot of the parts on this figure are very shaky. Like these speaker attachments here, very shaky. Her ponytail itself, is very heavy. She has a very heavy ponytail and she has a very small socket for her ponytail to go into her headpiece. So I could see definitely, you know, that could break. I love how cute it is. I love that you can see the design on her tights have like these little smiley faces on the little diamonds there. There's little cat outlines on her stockings as well. She has a Hello Kitty little emblem on her outfit. But of course, the base is Hello Kitty. Her helmet is Hello Kitty. I mean, obviously she's a Hello Kitty themed Fogaloid. 
Well guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope enjoyed seeing the figures that I expect to come this year, as well as the figures that may never be because they were canceled. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I do plan on making a figure collection video in the future. It's not just gonna be mine. It's gonna be mine and my fiance's. Over the past, you know, entire time that we've known each other, we have slowly built a collection. So I'm excited to show you guys all of that. Just remember, when it comes to figure collecting, just collect responsibly. Because if you don't, your wallet will cry. As will you. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye!